Hi everyone, welcome back to the Syntax UK YouTube channel. My name is Matt and today I'm going to be taking you through how to use your RME interface to live stream using OBS on Mac. Now with large parts of the world still under lockdown, live streaming has become a really great way for artists to keep in touch with their fans, whether that's by performing live or breaking down some of their songs. One of the most popular streaming programs is OBS, Open Broadcaster Software, and that's the program that we're going to be focusing on in this tutorial. We're going to be using RME's Total Mix effects for this video along with the loopback function. If you're not familiar with it, the loopback function allows any audio from a particular output to be sent back to its corresponding input without the need for any cables. If you're a Windows user, you'll want to watch our previous video on setting up OBS using your operating system as the steps do differ a little bit. If you're a Mac user, this tutorial will require two additional pieces of free software. Black Hole and Ladiocast, both of which we've linked in the description below. Black Hole acts as a virtual sound card, allowing the audio from your RME interface to be picked up in OBS. Ladiocast's primary use is for streaming digital audio like internet radio, but for this video we're using it to allow us to route our interface to Black Hole. Firstly, we're going to use Loopback to route our microphones and instrument inputs to a submix that we aren't currently using. In this case, I'm using ADAT 3 and 4. Once these have been routed, press loop back to send the signal from your output back to input ADAT 3 and 4. We're now going to set up the bridging app Ladiocast so that any audio I route to this output in Total Mix can then be fed into OBS. Open up Ladiocast and in the top left hand input, that's input 1, select your interface. Below this is where we will select the inputs we chose in Total Mix Effects. The easiest way to do this is by counting the channels in Total Mix. So ADAT 3 and 4 translates in this case to channels 7 and 8. On the right of this, choose Black Hole as your output device. That's it in terms of Ladiocast, and now we can move to OBS. In OBS, select Preferences from the top left menu and choose Audio. In Devices, click the drop down next to Mic Auxiliary Audio and choose Black Hole. Now if you click OK and return to the main screen on OBS, you can see the signal from your interface is now coming through on the meter. Now to get monitoring working in OBS, we need to click the cog and go to advanced audio properties. And then in the audio monitoring section, you wanna select monitor and output. It's worth noting that there will certainly be some form of latency issue when monitoring in OBS. With that in mind, it's easiest to mute the monitoring in OBS and simply monitor out of total mix effects. A tip for getting this right would be to set your monitor mix how you want it to sound in the headphone submix. And then you can copy this and either paste it or mirror the data of the output we're using to loop back. That means that any changes that you make on the fly during your live stream will then be reflected in OBS. So there you have it, your RME interface is now set up to live stream on OBS. This is a really great way of just being able to plug in a couple of microphones and some instruments and get live streaming. What if you require a more involved setup? Perhaps your live show incorporates samples, virtual instruments, effects plugins and the like. Well, in the next part, I'm going to be taking you through how to incorporate your DAW into your live stream using your RME interface and OBS. As always, please do make sure that you like and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our future content. Thanks very much, guys. We'll see you again next time.